Hello everyone, my name is Fireman and I'm going to play Millennium Racer Y2K Fighters. I have to set up a character, I made an ESA character. You always need Engine A to speedrun this game. And the time will start in 3, 2, 1, go. So this is Millennium Racer, it's a game from 1999. Uh, it has a subtitle called Y2K Fighters. Uh, why, I don't know, because you never fight anything in this game. Uh, I'm going to explain the speed tag later. I first have to explain uh, one of the hardest tricks in this game, which happens here. Ah, I missed that jump. That's bad, but I should be able to count down enough to... Uh, there we go. So we jump up here, jump through the wall. Then we have to wait here for a while. I f hope that's enough. Yeah, nice. That's our first cool message of the game. And we will see a lot more of those. Uh, so what happens there is that I jump out of bounds. Uh, a timer starts running. Uh, the timer counts until uh, 10. And before that time, you have to jump back into bounds. So you're placed back on the last known position on the track. Uh, if you like this, if you do this, you get a minus lap. So we just lost 30 seconds. That's great. So that wa that's what happens when you jump back into bounds too quickly. So you have to wait exactly like eight seconds and then jump back into bounds to uh, get a cool message and actually save time. And now we're just losing. We just lost like 30 seconds, which isn't that big of a deal, but I calculated some uh, mistakes in here. That's better. So now I have to be careful not to go back into bounds again. And usually when I go at the right speed, I can just jump back into bounds here at 24 seconds and it gives me the cool message. So uh, on Easy Championship, you have to do uh, five laps of each track. And this is the first track, of course. And you get five AI opponents. Uh, they're really bad, so they don't really uh, make any competition, but they can get in your way. And they are physical, so if you bump into them, you actually can uh, be shot off course, like completely off course, like into the sky and back. So let's hope this guy doesn't hit me. And nice, that went well. Uh, a good lap is below 32 seconds. A uh, great lap is below 31 seconds, but that usually never happens. And a bad lap would be above 34 seconds, I would say. But I normally do just 31 second laps. There we go. And as you can tell by this beautiful color palette, this game is a bit inspired by, uh, by Tron. And let's see if I can get this again. Might be a bit too early. No, nice. It's a bit inspired by Tron, and the game is actually about that in the future, uh, we have to get online with these virtual bikes and drive data ourselves through the internet. So everything you see here is apparently part of the internet. And uh, let's get this one more time. Very good. No, no, okay, great. Let's wait here for a few seconds and go on 24. There we go, this should be good. And that's the first track completed in a reasonable time. Just that one minus lap was the problem. So now we get to a track where I can actually start explaining the speed mechanics. You can see these golden paths on the floor, they're called boost trips. Uh, they increase your speed as well as uh, uh, we gain your boost. The actual boost meter is on the top left corner of the screen. It's on, hundreds, uh, it's on 100 right now. Uh, but the problem in this game is that you... Let me get this. Yes, nice. Had to jump around that meteor, otherwise you immediately lose all your speed. Uh, the problem with this game is that it has really weird uh, speed mechanics or speed rules. So once you start accelerating, like I'm doing now, you can get up to infinite uh, speed. We don't do that, unfortunately, but you can do that. It technically allows you to. But after you jump off a, uh, one of those boost strips of all the golden paths, then you uh, can't accelerate again until you drop back down to 940 miles per hour. So that's why I skipped those uh, golden paths at the, uh, at the finish line there, because it would actually slow me down. Like here, I'm going to slow down on purpose, and just so I can accelerate again. So I have to go uh, uh, 940 miles per hour if I want to start accelerating on those golden paths and 640 miles per hour if I want to start accelerating on a uh, normal floor. So here I actually slow down again on purpose. 
And you can also see that I'm uh, making my jumps longer at the end of those boost trips. That's because the boost uh, statistic or mechanic lasts as long as you don't touch the floor. So this is, this is a really good lap. Sub 45 seconds is really good. Uh, anything above that is, well, okay. Just anything above 50 seconds is really bad. That usually only happens when you hit that uh, hit one of those meteors, which I hopefully won't. So I constantly have to look at my speed to decide whether or not I'm going to uh, slow down or speed up. Right now it's actually going pretty well, so I know exactly when to speed up and when to slow down. Like here I'm going below 640, so I start speeding up. And it's just a really fun game to have some uh, decisions on the go. Like sometimes you just bump into something, you have to immediately decide whether you're going to speed up or slow down. The zigzag is kind of dangerous. Uh, another thing about this game is that you don't really use the directional buttons and hold them down. You have to tap them because the game doesn't like you actually turning. It slows you down like completely to a halt. So I have to tap at each corner and tap like 15,000 times on my, uh, on, my, uh, on my arrow keys to actually do the correct corner. These tunnels are really crazy. That was a really good tunnel actually. Uh, sometimes they just turn into solid walls, those tunnels. Sometimes they uh, actually act like uh, tunnels, so they have curves in them. But usually they uh, kind of just mess you up. Oh, nice. I mean, I dodged him. That's good. So these were all pretty good laps. Just one more to go. And I think all of them were sub 45 seconds. Uh, these brown wings, they restore your boost. I didn't really need them because I'm always on 100 boost. But there are laps or tracks where you actually do need to collect them. And uh, we'll see those uh, a bit later. Let's see if I can dodge this guy as well. And you can uh, const uh, constantly hear the speed maxed out uh, sound. It's not actually maxed out, like I said. There's an, that you can gain infinite speed. But it's good to have like some confirmation that I'm going fast. So that's good. It's just like every five seconds speed maxed out. And there we go, one more speed maxed out, and that's that track. Quite a decent time. And now we're actually getting into one of the harder tracks. This one requires you to chain boost half the level, gain uh, uh, enough speed to boost through the next lap, or without really uh, collecting speed again, so it's going to be a fun time. Let's see if I can get it. I kind of missed the actual start, so... Nah, that's not going to make it. I'm still going at decent speed, so I'm not going to reset my speed here, but normally I would go around 1400 miles per hour here. There we go, this is fine, but not fast, really. Let's see if I can uh, get a bump off the finish line. Yeah, the finish line is actually a physical object in this game, and if you hit it at the right angle, it gives you a very small speed boost, but it's really, really small. So now I'm going to slow down, slow down to 940. Let's see, there we go. Boost up here. Boost this one. Ah, damn. I, I bonked that again. Still going fast enough to actually not lose that much time. But a really good lap, or like my... Oh, I need to dodge him. Uh, my most laps are below uh, 33 seconds, below 34 seconds. And so this is a pretty slow lap. Although it says best play lap on the bottom right, that's because I made a new uh, ESA profile for this, uh, for this run. Let's slow down to 960. Boost up. Damn. Okay, so this time I'm just going for a, a super fast second lap. So I'm going to slow down to 640 miles per hour. Grab this ring. Avoid that guy and chain these together with the finish line, hopefully. Yeah, nice. So now I'm going really fast, as you can tell. And now I'm going to try to regain that, uh, to continue that speed all the way to the, to the level. So I'm not going to slow down here, I'm just going to continue boosting. Uh, tapping boost actually uh, helps you not decelerate. So if you don't tap boost like I'm doing now, oh my god, perfect. Perfect AI placement. 
So that totally bonged me out of the uh, out of the path. So I'm just going to do the same thing again. Uh, it doesn't really matter that much. Like you usually only lose a few seconds each track, and I didn't get it. Well, let's see if I can uh, do this correctly for once. I mean, it's the last lap. I have to do it correctly once to uh, actually show off how it's done. Let's see, slow down a bit. Nope. Bad luck. Bad, uh, bad track. Well, I, in total, I still only lost like maybe five seconds or something. So it's not terrible, but it didn't go as planned. But that happens in this game. A lot of these jumps are really quite uh, quite perfect. So that was that track. Uh, this one is uh, mainly difficult because the tunnels act really weird, like I said before. And this has a lot of tunnels in it. Uh, I'm going to speed up here. So what you think is that you might be able to jump to the uh, left there and uh, end the uh, track. But that's the same case at the first lap. You practically get a minus lap for all the skips you try. Uh, so I tried a lot. I basically went through the entire game. This one doesn't give a minus lap, so that's... I'm not sure if it's faster, but it looks cooler. And here I jump off the track so I can hold down boost longer. And that actually gives me a lot more speed to go to this straight part. And if you go slow here, you lose a lot of time because it's just... Uh, there's no way to boost up here except by holding uh, the boost button. And you don't want to do that because you run out of boost. Here's another skip. Here's another cool one, actually. So we'll get a new cool message. There we go. That was one of the first uh, skips I found because it just seems really obvious to try that. You just jump to the right of the track and then you're at the finish line. So we're going to try to go through here. Ah, damn. At a decent speed, but we didn't. Uh, one of the problems is this part, because you have to jump and you can't hit the ceiling. And your uh, height of your jump is regulated by the space bar. Which is why I brought my own keyboard, so I know how long to pressure and how much pressure I should put on it. Let's get this as well. And yeah, this is really fast for this part. So that, uh, once you go fast here, you basically save the most time in this entire track. I mean, apart from the skip, but the skip is literally free. Anyone can just jump there there we go another cool message that's good that this game keeps giving me cool messages really makes me feel good about uh, about the run let's see and uh, another thing about this game is that it was the most uh, recently well not released but found game for the Dreamcast they found a, a port of this game on a dev kit in 2017. So like 20 years after the Dreamcast died. And it, uh, it works completely, it's complete. They totally finished the game, they just never released it. Uh, the problem with the Dreamcast version is that you can't uh, tap boost to not decelerate as fast. So you're always, you're always way behind on the PC version. But you can do the same skips in the Dreamcast version as you can in the PC version. Like this is possible there as well. And you even get the cool messages in, uh, in the Dreamcast version. Uh, two laps to go. And so a good lap is like below 55 seconds. And a uh, really bad lap would be above one minute. So I hope I didn't have any of those yet. But who knows, I'm not really keeping track of it because I'm too busy uh, focusing on tapping the right mouse button, uh, well, mouse button, the right arrow button and the uh, shift key. Okay, so we speed up here again. I'm actually going to try to show you another skip in the final lap. It's not, it doesn't save any time, but it's fun to show you that it, this game is quite broken and it's seemingly random whether it, it gives you a minus lap or not. So I'm going to give that one shot, and if I don't get it, then I'll just uh, continue the course as normal. And if you're too slow with jumping to the other side, you don't even get a cool message. So the game does punish you if you go slow. Let's see if I can, uh, if I can remember where it is. I should be able to. Uh, it's after the uh, two, 
tunnels. So this is still fine. And here we go. And it's to the left here, so I'm just going to slow down a bit. Jump up here. Then mash space, as I didn't have enough buttons to mash yet. Jump through here. Get up here. Jump up there. Hey, there we go. It actually worked. I never used that because it's uh, not faster, but that looked, uh, that looked okay, and it worked for once. So there you go. That's actually a skip that works on a Dreamcast as well, and that saves a lot of time. So that was that track. And now we're getting into the real uh, Pog Champ uh, strats. Uh, this game is actually quite physics-based. You might not uh, uh, notice it yet, but you will after this uh, track. I'm going to try to jump over a, part of, a large part of the track by bumping into the finish line. And it also gives a cool message, so that's good. Uh, another tough part about this is this jump here. I gotta go really close to the edge, then not hit that spike. And I need to do some uh, hoover jumps. So this game allows you to jump just before you hit the floor. And then it's a uh, hoover jump. And those are really, really uh, useful in most uh, chains. Let's see if I get it. There we go. Just dump over half the map, no problem. So any uh, decent time with that jump included is uh, uh, somewhere around 33 seconds, I think, or 34. But then you also need to have a very good chain jump here, which I'm trying to get now. There we go, that's nice. And this one is too hard. <laughs> I failed that one, but this still went pretty decently. And I might not have enough speed to make it through there now, so I went through this small gap at the side. Uh, it's not that much slower, it's a bit slower, but it's, uh, it's an alternative strat. You need a lot of alternative strats in this game. Because a lot of the times you're just not going at the speed you want to go. This should be good. Like going through here at uh, around 1400 miles per hour is really good. And also not hitting any of those uh, honeycomb type things. Because they slow you down immensely. Uh, anytime you hit a slope, you basically slow down to a halt. And you have to speed up again and accelerate up again. But you usually don't have the opportunity to. And even a downward slope actually slows you down if you hit it. So you want to try to do him some money. Oh no, please get out of the way. Okay, that's good. Uh, that wasn't good. <laughs> I didn't draw, uh, at least I didn't have to fall out of the map and respawn, but. Okay, so now I have to find one of those golden paths quickly. Try to chain these together. And there we go, we're going at a decent speed again. So there's a lot of alternative strats you just need to know in this game otherwise you're not going to go very fast let's see if i can get through here again this is the worst skip through it it's not very fluid so you actually get stuck behind an invisible wall and then you have to jump through that invisible wall but it's still faster than going all the way around so it's not that bad uh chain these together again be careful here And at these speeds, these corners have to be tapped really rapidly. So it's quite... Ah, and I finally get that jump uh, correctly. So that's how that's supposed to look. Now I'm going way too fast here, but it was the final lap anyway. So that went well. I think I got to jump in every lap, so that's really good. That saves quite a lot of time. Uh, this one is uh, mainly a tunnel level, so it's not really that uh, interesting. So I'll just talk about how I started playing this game. Uh, in the Netherlands, we used to have like uh, when you when we didn't have internet yet, you had to have like uh, underground CD dealers that compressed games onto one CD, and one of those CDs had this game on it. So I started playing it, and I kind of never really stopped playing it. I kept playing it at least once a year, and then once I found out what speedrunning was, then I started to oh that's bad, I started to speedrun it, and that's practically how I started. I still have some of the uh, you can save races in this game. After each race, you can save your profile for ghost racing. And I still have some from like 15 years ago. And it's really fun to uh, still play them now and beat them by like three minutes in each track. But uh, So this lap here, 
This is quite a difficult part, this tunnel. As you can tell, the camera can't really keep up with what you're doing. Uh, so you have to like rely on knowing where to go. I have to slow down a bit here. Hit the ceiling. I keep bumping my head against the ceiling there. So I don't do a too big jump afterwards. Ah, that's good. That's how it's supposed to go. You're supposed to uh, turn just in time, then jump off the wall. And that's how you actually retain enough speed to get to the end without having to boost up again. And I have to avoid that guy. I'm not sure where he's going. I don't know any of the AI paths, really. And uh, normally they just... Oh, that sucks. That's a lot, of real, a lot of lost time here, because I usually go through the tunnel at 1,200 miles, and now it's like at snail pace. It allows me to show off something else. You can, instead of just keep boosting, you can slow down here to 640, grab this ring, and you can continue to accelerate all the way through this part. And then if you don't mess up that corner, uh, which I'm going to try to do now. No, I did. <laughs> I did mess it up. If you don't mess it up, you can actually go through this part at uh, 1,200 miles per hour. And that like makes up for the mistake. So that's another alternative strat that I, uh, that I try to use. Uh, so far, these have all been pretty decent laps. Uh, this one wasn't because I bumped into the wall there. Out of my way, please. Oh my god. How could you jump exactly into my uh, into my line of sight? Yeah, I might as well get him as well. So I lap all these AIs pretty easily, usually twice. Uh, I think this lap is a, uh, this track is a bit too long to lap them twice, but oh my god! Okay, let's reset here. So the deceleration is actually quite useful for speed ones because you can just sort of have a soft reset in the middle of your run by just dropping your speed to 640 miles per hour and then accelerating again so you're not that dependent on uh well, let's see if i can not have bumped my head down so you're not that dependent on when you fail because you can always just uh rely back on the deceleration mechanic and accelerate again and actually gain more speed than you would normally have at that part so like I'm going to slow down here, 640, then it will start greasing again. Jump up here, bump my head, bump my head. See if I can get this. Nope, that was bad. So you're, what you're supposed to do is there's like a floating uh, solid object beneath your bike. And uh, when, you, uh, when you use it while you corner, it actually forms a sort of cushion. And you can use that cushion to avoid losing uh, speed. And that's the uh, sixth lap. That went uh, decent enough. And these are actually some of my uh, least favorite uh, levels, at least this one. Uh, you saw me slow down there at the beginning. That's just because accelerating here uh, ends up with a lot uh, higher speed once you get to this chain boost. And this is where you really want to gain speed. And this jump here is really difficult. Like, I have to zigzag really cap. Uh, yeah, that's why it's difficult. Uh, but I'll get it next time, I hope. Because now this entire section is really slow. So this was actually a really costly uh, fail. I can speed up a bit here. But like I said, the tunnels usually don't behave like tunnels. So sometimes you can't even get on the side of this tunnel and uh, use that boost meter. There's a small skip here. Another one that's just really obvious. And now I can just speed up again. So I, I, the good thing about this game is that you only use speed on uh, sections of the track, and not really on the entire track. So you can always gain, regain your speed, speed. and uh, not suck at the game. See if I can uh, do this correctly. Speed. So I try to uh, get, uh, keep at least 970 miles per hour here, and I did. So that's good, so then I don't grab that green uh, speed ring because otherwise I would actually slow down here while uh, accelerating. Because like I said before, the speed mechanics in this game make no sense. There we go, that was how it's supposed to look. Now I can get through these tunnels really, really fast. And he keeps, still keeps saying speed maxed out, but like I said before, it's never really maxed out. Jump up here, jump through here. Another nice cool message. 
By the way, if you're uh, a really cool person, you can uh, donate to the incentive to have an extra track of this game. So feel free to do that. I can't actually press the donate button from here because I'm too busy <laughs> racing, but uh, if someone in the audience could press the donate button, that would help. Anyone? Anyone wants to press the donate button, if there is one? No? No one likes it. Yay! <laughs> They're all really mad because this game is really hard, so... <laughs> So th this game actually has like, uh, th there was one runner that uh, played this game, he did it casually in uh, one hour or like one hour and five minutes I think on the easy championship and then I gave it my first shot and got like 50 minutes and then I really started speed running it and now the, the world record time is down to 39 minutes and 39 seconds. Uh, I'm not going to get that here because I already minus lapped, but it's uh, a really good time. Uh, but I'll usually stick between uh, 39 minutes and 41 minutes, so it's quite a consistent uh, speed run. And that's just really good. I actually had a lot of problems with this tunnel not acting like a tunnel before I found out that if you jump before you enter it, it actually starts behaving like a tunnel. So now I actually can get through it consistently at a decent speed. Uh, let's see here. And for this level, any uh, lap below one minute is good. Uh, anything above one, limit, uh, one minute is bad. Oh, that sucks. Let's see if I can regain some speed here. So if you don't uh, hold down the spacebar long enough, you bump into that platform. And if you hold it down too long, you bump your head into the gate. So then you also uh, put to a halt. Ah, that was not that great. I really want to go like 970 here, so. And I'm a real uh, numbers guy, so really, uh, like the entire speed one is, uh, how I routed it is based on how fast I want to go at that spot. Uh, that's not good either. Well, it's the final lap, so I can uh, afford it. The other three laps went well. One lap went pretty bad, but. So this is how the tunnel doesn't really behave sometimes. Ah, that went okay still. So this is the final part of this uh, of this track. And then the next track will be a very uh, a much shorter one again. So this is one of the longest tracks uh, and the last track as well. Uh, let's see if I can do this chain jump here and not bump my head into that this time. Good. So this was a bad lap as well, just Above one minute is really, really bad. Well, for me, it's really bad. That was that track. And now we're getting into the really difficult uh, chain jumps. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think any of these are like pixel perfect or something, but they are hard. I mean, it's a 3D game, so pixel perfect would be a bit of an exaggeration, I guess. But here we're going at a decent speed. Let's see if I can do this correctly. We want to keep this speed through most of the lap. Uh, so we don't actually uh, try to accelerate here anymore on these golden paths because it would slow us down to 940 miles per hour and we don't want that. So I avoid all these as well. And now I get to slow down a bit because I want to make this corner and these jumps are really difficult. And as you can see, I filled that first one already. Uh, because you have to do a hoover jump on an angled surface and the hoover jump, uh, the range of that hoover jump is not that, uh, that large. So you have like, yes. well I'm not sure how m much a feet is in this game, but you have like a feet of uh, room to do a hoover jump and if it's an angled surface and you're going forward you can, you know, you'll hit that angle usually, unless you do it perfectly. So, and you have to do that three times in a row on that, uh, on that part. I can actually speed up here. So now I was going too slow to not speed up here, so I decided to do to actually speed up here. 
That was a real speedrunner's decision. Let's see if I can get it this time. Jump. No. Very bad. I even fell down. That was really bad. Like, a good lap here would be sub 43 seconds, and this is 50, 55. That's not good. But whatever. We'll get a good lap eventually. So what I try to do here is tap, uh, uh, shift as rapidly as possible so I can continue to have this speed here. 1100 is okay, not really that great. I might actually slow down here just to speed up again. Yeah, there we go. And I have to not bump into them. That's good. Like over jumping on this part is really easy, but on those platforms it's just really difficult. Let's see if I can... I should be able to get it eventually, right? I guess not. I guess my spacebar just breaks down as soon as I get there. Well, we can speed up a bit here. And chain, um, chain jump these together, and that actually gives me the same amount of speed that I would normally have from the last lap. Oh my god. Oh, this is okay. I thought I slowed down too much, but this is fine. Anything above 1100 is okay here. Let's see if I can... I really want to get this at least once, and there's just two laps left, so... Let's hope that it uh, works out. Jump. Jump. Ah, still didn't get it. So, and, and the world record, I actually get this like five out of five times, so I'm not sure what's, why I'm choking so hard now. At least I keep getting this one, which helps a bit. Because if you don't get that chain jump, you actually only go like 1200 here, and now I'm going 1400, so that's uh, a lot faster. I'm a statistician, I know that's a lot faster. And let's see here. Okay, this is working now. And now I should be going at like the speed I'm used to. Maybe that'll help. Yeah, there we go. There we go, finally. It's in the final lap, but uh, I got it. So that was a good uh, final lap. And there's two more tracks to go, I think. Uh, this also is a really short one, but a difficult one. Uh, you see these beehive structures, they have glass in them. If you drive through the glass, you slow down a lot, but you can open up a uh, passageway for the next lap. But because it slows you down a lot, we don't uh, use it because we want to go fast and not slow. Uh, there's also a skip in this, ge in this uh, level, but it's not faster, so we don't use it. Just like the other skip I actually showed that also doesn't save any time. So the game wants you to zigzag past these, but you can just jump over them and get a cool message. Sometimes, if you go fast enough. And I tried to hump the wall there and jump up straight against that uh, uh, golden booth path. Oh, this is bad. Okay, I saved it. Saved. I skip this here. Also a cool message. Really cool game. So if you want to actually play this game yourself, uh, it's available on Dreamcast, of course, because that's not an, that's an unreleased version. Uh, and if you want to play it on PC, it's considered abandoned web, but you could also just buy it from, uh, from eBay. It's like five bucks for the big box version, so it's really cheap. I don't know why, it's a great game. The English one is actually quite hard to find. Uh, but if you want a Spanish one or a German one, those are uh, really cheap. And that was a really good lap. Below uh, 43 seconds is really good. Okay. I have to avoid the AI here. Good. So these corners are quite difficult to manage. If you get through them with at least like 700 miles per hour, that's good. Uh, if you lose too much speed there, you're actually quite... Well, you can immediately speed up again after the tunnel, so it's not that bad. 
Another cool message, great. You normally don't get those there unless you're going really fast, so that's uh, that's good for my ego. Another uh, sub 43 second lap. This probably has been the best track so far. And I have to not whack it now by saying that, but it should be going, uh, it's going pretty well here. The only problem I'm having is this corner right here. I really want to go like this. 850 miles per hour when I exit it. And now I did, so that's this should probably be an even better lap. If I don't mess up these jumps. These jumps. Speed maxed out again. Oh shit. That wasn't supposed to happen. I almost got overtook by that guy. That would have been bad. Imagine losing to an AI. That's three laps behind you. Or two. Two, right. All of them are two laps behind me now. Uh, if you play on professional championship, you have to, uh, you have like three additional AIs. One is just the worst one in existence. Like he takes like 16 minutes for one lap. Uh, and the other one is uh, really good. Well, really good. I lap him only once. So that's, that's pretty good, better than the, these AIs. And then that's just some misc, uh, one in the middle. Uh, that, that was this track. Re oh, really nice finisher, actually. And now for the final and hardest track. This one has uh, what I call a sub-pixel, sub-frame trick. So I have to jump during a frame you can't see. And, I, uh, and it's really difficult. And I made up that term because uh, I wanted to sound cool. But it's a really difficult jump and you have to do a hoover jump on a fence and I hope to show you it partly once, uh, maybe completely. I practiced it a lot but it's just way too difficult to really do consistently. I think the most I've done in uh, uh, when I do a seven lap uh, practice one was like twice <laughs> in seven laps. But overall you get it like once every 14 laps maybe. So let's see, I'm going at the right speed here, that's good. So it's the entire lap is basically a build up to the jump, uh, which I'm going to do hopefully right now. So this is the first part of that chain jump. Then you need to jump, and that didn't work. So what you're supposed to do is jump uh, here again, then jump on that fence to the right, and then jump up here. We're still going to jump up here because it's faster, so that's still a cool message. And it saves a lot of time because you skip half the, uh, half the track, but you can do that all in one go if, you're, if you do it perfectly, if you do the trick perfectly. Oh, this was bad, bad start for this lap. Normally I want to go at least 1100 here. But this works, I guess. Now I don't have to slow down on this part, which I normally do have to do. Uh, otherwise this tunnel becomes completely uncompletable. There we go, that one went decently. And a good thing about this game is that I can say everything is going decently because no one else has played this game except for like two people. Uh, there was one person that actually had uh, a world record on one of the ILs uh, and I ended up beating him after practicing that level for uh, a week or two. Uh, so that actually turned out, that was probably the hardest uh, record I had to beat. Let's see if I can get this now. Uh, no. Close, but not really. Oh. I might have to backtrack a bit here. Yeah, fine. There we go. And the camera couldn't keep up, but <laughs> that's fine. Let's see here. This is a bit better. Like, you really want to go at least 1100 here, and I'm going that now. Preferably 1200, but this is good too. And let's see if I can get this jump. And actually do a decent tunnel for once. Yeah, this is nice. So this is how you're supposed to do that tunnel. Just uh, take the wave of the corner and slow down here again to 640. Because you really don't want to uh, decelerate after this. Because this is just a straight part. So you can completely use uh, rely on boost here to speed up. So that's what I do. There's the AI. I hope he doesn't get in my way. 
Okay, let's see. Let's give this another go. Oh, 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 so close, so close. I forgot to slow down in the air. It, you have to slow down and actually hit that ramp at the correct angle to be able to skip that. Still got a cool message, so that's good. So uh, the world record lap for this is uh, 58 seconds now. Uh, and it has that jump in it. And I've only had three laps that were below one minute. And all of them contained that jump. And some uh, had it in a, in a better way than the other ones. Uh, but a really good lap on this track is actually like sub one minute and five seconds. So I'll see if I can, uh, if I can do that. Slow down here. Uh, get out of my way, please. You can end up in these ditches and you lose all your speed and you won't be able to accelerate. Uh, so I didn't really want to do that and luckily I avoided it. Okay, let's see. The setup is fine. My speed is good. Let's do it. No, let's not, <laughs> let's not do it. Okay, this is uh, fine. I have one more try and then it's... Uh, and that would be it. At least I got this one pretty quickly. So around 110 is still a good time. Like it's a lot better than we uh, used to do before we found that, or that I used to do, I guess, because no one else does the <laughs> does that jump. Uh, so yeah, this is the final lap of the final track. Uh, I'm not sure if we met, met the incentive. Otherwise, we can do the uh, the extra track, which is the second part of this track. And it was the one that I didn't have the world record on before, like, uh, the two-week uh, two grind. Ooh. So if you're really cool, you can still donate right now for, like, 20 seconds. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're going to make that, but... Let's see if I can at least get this jump once. I really wanted, wanted to show it to you because it's really cool. Let's see here. Jump. Jump? No. Nah, too bad. So what you're supposed to do is jump uh, on that fence over there. You can see the, the fence at the uh, side of the track here. Then bounce off that fence and slow down in, in midair and actually arrive up here. So you go straight to the finish line. So this is the end of the one. There we go. That's it. I'm not sure what my time was. 42 minutes and 21 seconds. That's okay. I managed to show off all my uh, all the skips and even a skip that I didn't practice and it actually worked. So that was good. Uh, as I've, since we didn't meet the incentive, we won't be able to do the other uh, lap, unfortunately. I do want to make a comparison with my normal, uh, my world record runs. So that's the best lap. We can see how close we got. We got within one second of most of these, I hope. This one went really bad. Uh, but most of these are like within within one second. So that's really good. And we also have best times for five laps. And we can see where I lost the most time, which is obviously a minus lap at the first uh, lap. And the other ones all went decently. Lost a few tens of seconds, uh, 10 seconds or something. Most of these went decent. So that's uh, really good. So shout outs to uh, the Millennium Race community, which is me. And shout outs to the, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> we have one donation. Following snail donated $25. Hey, Fireman, you are cool. Thank you, thank you. That's a great donation. Thank you very much. Yeah, that, that was really a cool one. And uh, shout outs to the Obscure Speedruns Club for, the, uh, for all the obscure games they won. I submitted this there as well, but nobody ended up playing it. But it's still a great uh, club. And also shout outs to Always Against Time people here. They're all, most of them are here. So they done a one of marathon in racing games. So, And I think we're going to continue the racing block now. So uh, have fun and enjoy. And I'll see you later.